Good morning, you sweet, sweet creations of the Most High God. Huh. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Covered by the blood of Yeshua Messiah. Amen. The vine. Boy, I'm on one today. Dano, sometimes you're a pecker. You think so? Why do you think I got a coffee cup like that? Maybe I'll just calm down a little bit. Maybe. Drink water. <coughs> Ain't no grave can hold my body down. Oh boy. Four days of bullshit. I'm going to try to censor myself, my speech a little bit today here to be more palatable. You know, if you got kids ever watching my show, don't do that. I don't want to be responsible for that. But, you know, sometimes... We all need to get guided by a stick. Need a little, little tap, you know. Just stay in line. Hey, quit running out there. Get back. Get back. Get back. Just a little tap. Other times, this is kind of a bad example at this point. Of course, this is just a practice play around one other times you need a whack to get your ass back in gear and I have definitely been in that situation over the last two years <whistles> bet your ass and then some <coughs> well I'll tell you what you know if you want to be a dude that looks like a lady. Let's just go ahead and finish the job. Sign up, man. It's biblical. Circumcision. Except for, we'll take the, take the whole gristle off. Without this book, this nation ain't going to make it. But without you making this book in your life, part of the nation... We're not going to make it. So now, that's bringing all of us down. And this is what I met the other day by people who call themselves men and women of God. Is one... Oh, hold on a minute here. One thing I do want to show off. My pretty face. Just kidding. But look at this. Remember whenever... Hope and change, huh? Well, you can't live on hope alone. You gotta have faith. And then that requires action. It's an action verb. Okay? And change. I don't want fucking change. I want my damn money back. I want this stupid shit to stop that you guys are stealing from all of us. Because, you know, I know you all are playing your game well and it's your economy. But I'm done being a broken rake. Still springy. Still usable. But I'm done having to be a broken rake for this bullshit. I want our money back as a nation. I want our people prosperous. I want as many people to come back to the Father that He's calling back, whether it's through something like me, which is, again, the broken rake. Still usable. Whatever reason, Father. Okay, I'm stuck here. I want to be able to say that this is the best nation on the earth to my children to my nieces and nephews, to my cousins, to my aunts and uncles, 
I want them to be able to say that. I want grandchildren that will say that. The only way that's going to even start is y'all are going to start getting peckery with it. Because if I stand by and do nothing, that's how evil prevails. And it's strictly stated numerous times in here what happens. Even if you are people of God, oh, that goes back to this. <clears throat> people of God who just stand by the sidelines and condone sin instead of condemn it. Now, I'm all for y'all hear me talk about, well, you're a little, you're a little centric. Well, bless you. But also, am I being realistic? And you're just being stupid, blind. Hey, been there with you, I'm learning myself. But we need real men and women of God here that don't just show up, have the church click, pass the plate around. Because I'll tell you what, this ain't going no fucking collection plate. This is an investment for the Father's people. And, uh, this temple is the people, not four walls that you have to come up to, show them your income tax statements so that they can automatically deduct out tithe for their proceedings. Whenever it really, I mean, you look into this, so much of this shit's a scheme, dude. And shame on you all if you continue in that. You know, you're going to have to answer to God, not me over that shit. Um, but man... I'd rather you just answer to God now, same way I have, and not be a fucking continued piece of shit. Or don't. But I can tell you what. You know, be in the world, but not of it. Well, Second Corinthians. 10-4. Alright, Dad. Alright. He gave me this. I didn't buy this. He gave me those. I didn't have to get those. He gave me that. He gave me this. He gave me this. He even gave me this. All I did was utilize resources at times to receive the blessings that he had opened for me. And maybe that's something we all have to think about today. <clears throat> Being available for him to open shop. I would highly encourage that. And don't even get me wrong. I have to go through checks and balances myself too. I understand it is, it has been a fight, it will be a fight, but what's a fight whenever you just lay down and let them have their way, and by them, you know exactly what I mean. No. A wise man, a strong man, and a man of standard, because he has his direction pointed in God. You know, once said, utilize your no muscle. You're going to allow these people to come in and just take over our country and lay down and, oh, well, you know. They, Jesus loves them too. Yeah. I'm sure you hear plenty of times where Jesus also warned us, sell your cloak, get a sword. Well, no, 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 let's, let's, hippie Jesus ain't saying that. Bullshit. Read the fucking word. I hope you all have a blessed day. And if I come off dicky some days, well, there's a reason I got the coffee cup.